Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Fallout 4 video. Here, I'm going to be showing you where you can get the Syringer Rifle, which is a very cool, very powerful, and extremely rare weapon. There's only two of them, I believe, on the whole map. And uh, they're both fairly difficult. Well, not actually fairly difficult to get, but they're difficult to find if you don't know where to look. So, first step obtaining the Syringer Rifle is you're going to want to go to Vault 81, and that is right by... Right in front of where I told you guys where to find the Spray and Pray Unique Submachine Gun. And once you go in there, you can try and access the vault, open up the vault door, and you'll get a small little fetch quest that the people in there will need you to do before they'll let you in. And once you do that quest, it's a very simple quest, you just need three fusion cores, go do it. So you can get, grab three fusion cores and go do it right now if you haven't already. Then once you're down there... Some little kid will like greet you when you get off the elevator and he'll offer to show you around the vault for like, I think it's like five caps or something. You do this, this counts as one of the missions, and you tour around the vault, he shows you the infirmary, which will come up later in the next mission. And once that's done, you can just leave the vault, go about your day, and wait. I don't really know how many days have to pass before the next mission kicks in, but once you go back into the vault... Uh, you'll hear someone talk about the kid in the infirmary, you will go there, and it'll be the kid that showed you around, and that's where your next mission starts up. And after you've finished that mission, they will give you the Syringer Rifle, which is a very cool, useful weapon to have. It's a compressed air, like, dart rifle. And it's wicked cool, because there's a ton of different syringes you could craft for it that are wicked useful. It'd be very good in a heavy fight against tough enemies that need to be, like, kind of buffed beforehand with, like, lower endurance, poison, paralysis, stuff like that, to give you the upper hand. So it'll be very useful in um, tough fights against death claws, mutants, stuff like that. And that does it for this video, guys. If you could consider leaving a like and a favorite, I really appreciate it. It really helps me make more videos, and I love when you guys do that. <laughs> Not to sound like a jackass, but, like... I love when you guys do that. And if you have any questions about the video, more weapons, anything like that, or you need help with anything, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below, and I will answer it to the best of my ability. And if you could subscribe for more Fallout 4 content, I really appreciate it. It helps me make more videos. And you'll see all the latest uh, tips I'm finding here, the latest cool weapons and locations and stuff like that. And it'll be really great. And that does it for this video. It Sorry, everything froze there for a second. Didn't know whether or not it crashed, but apparently it didn't. Alright, that does it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!